somewhat informal ceremony, but no less important than any other wedding might be. I have to admit that I wasn't sure this day would ever occur for Jennifer, and not because of any other reason than that the career path that she's chosen would make it difficult for a relationship at best with the amount of travel that she does. Um, there may be other reasons, but <laughs> Move on. I, I think that the old saying that would apply that most of us in our family are familiar with is that there is not a pot so crooked that there is no way to fit it. You're a crooked lid. <laughs> and you're the crooked pot. To say what pot. <laughs> but any man that could be so supportive and loving and helpful to Jennifer during her time of need without either having his own breakdown or putting her out of her misery <laughs> is surely a perfect fit. It's obvious to us all that you share many common interests and that it, that is also a rare blessing for many people who enter into marriage. In all sincerity, I want to congratulate Jennifer and Steen on their wedding. I speak for my family when I say that we are very happy for the both of you that we welcome you, Steen, into our family and hope that you truly feel we are a part of yours. And now if you all raise your glasses, even though you may be separated by many miles, the lasting image should be of loving smiles. No long flight delay nor custom interrogation could keep your love from finding its way. And may your love keep growing only stronger from this most wonderful day. Cheers. 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 <laughs> but being the only foreigner here in this company of Americans, I would say very much thank you for letting me feel happy, feel loved, feel part, whatever it is, joy of going to the Eagles, see the board had an eagle go places in New York to Bangor and, catch with yes, <laughs> and get a mitt and learn a lot of new things which for me have been wonderful and exciting and I'm sure that a lot of these things will be different from now on that you will no longer say oh here's something you, we have to be kind now. It's part of our family. Hold here. And I can stop being kind. I am so happy that I have been allowed to be taking the last of the crooked. The first things Glenn's mother said to me when I met her, there's never a pot so crooked, there's not a bit to fit. So I wasn't sure how to take that either. <laughs> Ready? 
You don't get mine. <laughs> okay, now. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we got two angles. We could put it together and make a movie. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Super wide lens on. I don't know. I